right, I've got six hour, five hours to, rec less than five hours to record at a, in a, oh, oh, I put myself into another rush situation. What's going on, you misfits? I am Ren. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm doing a little update to literally the most popular video on my channel, which is my VC face analytics tutorial and miscellaneous other things at the end that honestly I could have cut out now that I think about it. But hindsight's 2020. But I'm going to show you an updated method to that. The reason for that is because, <laughs> yeah, it turns out there's an easier way. So, um, that's, that's why I'm, uh, that's why I'm 3D right now. I'm using it at the moment. It's uh, a <laughs> significantly easier and uh, you probably don't need to install anything extra because if you play games, you have the program you need. We're going to run this through Steam. But before we get to that, go ahead and click that like button, hit subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of when I post new videos. That fuck, I can't speak. Before we do that, make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe and the bell to get notified when I post new videos. And uh, why did I say and? This is why I need scripts. This I'm doing this unscripted and this is why I need to script it because I will screw it up constantly. Hit the like button and hit subscribe and the bell to get notified when I post new videos because coming up soon, there's going to be a video tutorial about how to install Linux from everything, making the USB stick to actually installing it. I'm going to like record my, <laughs> I'm going to record my laptop screen and I'm going to completely reinstall my OS on it to show you installing it um, on my laptop. That is going to be a fun time and also a nightmare. But with that, let's get right into the video and we're going to swap over to the desktop. All right, so here we are over on the desktop. And as you can see, I have VC face in Steam. I've even added some pictures and stuff to make it look pretty. Uh, you're not going to worry about that right now. All you're going to need to worry about is the fact that you need to download VC face on the website. You can check the previous video. There will be a card linked up in the corner for anyone who needs to see it uh, on where to download it. It's a little bit behind. The current version is a little bit newer. Um, I actually don't have the newest version installed right now. I need to go ahead and download it. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that right now. Let's just open up Firefox and do that real quick. So we're going to go over to vcface.icu this will bring up the website for vcface you're going to click on download and this is the current version 1.13.36h you're going to click that to download it and then save the file once this finishes downloading you're going to want to go ahead and open up that file along with uh, a file browser of where you want the program to live for me i have in my home directory a dedicated folder for programs that's where i always put them Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually completely remove VC face from my Steam library so that you can see it from the start. So we've got that downloaded now. I can see it right here. Pop open Dolphin and here you can see it. I've got a lot of versions of VC face. Here we are. And now I'm going to go to my home directory and the programs folder. Now you don't need to put them in a dedicated programs folder. You can put the folder wherever you want, as long as you know where it is. I just like having it organized into a dedicated programs VC face. And I'm going to highlight everything but the source folder because I don't need that. And I'm going to apply to all to overwrite. So this will overwrite all the old versions with the new versions. And we're done. Now, additionally, I have these two PNG files, which I may upload I think I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and upload these to either like Google Drive or Mediafire or something like that so you'll have a link to download them and these are what we're gonna use to make it look a lot prettier in Steam this will be the banner and this will be the icon so with that let's hop over to Steam and begin the process of adding it to Steam which is much simpler than you would think if you go to your library click add game right here add a non Steam game and you're gonna browse under file type, you're going to do all files. And now you just go to wherever it is you need to go. So for me, home, PC name, I'm going to go down to programs. There they are. And in programs, I have here it is VC face and choose the exe file. Click open. Add selected program. And you're done. 
there it is, we have VC face added. Once this is done, as long as you have Proton enabled, you can go to the settings, properties, and uh, choose a custom, force a custom version if you want. I want to make sure it's always running with version six or higher. So I went ahead and did that because in Wine 6, you're able to use the webcam without running OpenC face separately, which is very nice and much easier to do. So with that, if you wanna just have it set up and be good to go, you're done. This is all you need to do, it is right there. We are going to make it look a little bit prettier in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my favorites, so it's at the top of my game list. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to, I believe it is properties? Yes, properties. So if you don't wanna have, if you want it to not have the EXE, you can just right here remove the .exe. Click here to choose the icon, which for me I have vsf.png open and then close out. And now if you click off, it'll update. And there we go. Now we have the little icon for VC face. Next, if you right click right here, select set custom background and go to where you saved the, um, what's it called file? The banner image. I couldn't remember the name. So for me, home, pop PC, it's in programs, which I have to scroll all the way down through. There they are. And VC face, VC face banner. And there we are. One last thing is that if you look at stuff like VTube Studio, Yakuza Like a Dragon, Tabletop Simulator, they have these custom little icon. Well, Shadowverse doesn't have one. They all have these custom icons. If you want to do that on VC face in your Steam library, all you'll need to do is then right click, set custom logo, go back to where you stored the vsf.png file, more scrolling, more scrolling, more scrolling, and vcface.png. And there you go, now you have the custom logo. And with that, you have it all set up and ready to go. Once you have uh, Proton turned on in First, your settings. So to do that, you'd go to Steam, Settings, Steam Play, enable Steam Play for all their other titles. You can set what the default version is. And then in the options and properties, you can force a specific version of Proton. So for example, if I wanted to run it with the glorious egg roll fork, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna use the standard current version, which is 6.3-5. And with that done, you now click play. And that's all I'm gonna be able to do. Immediately after I did all of this, uh, turns out that adding a non-Steam game to Steam and running it with Proton, and then removing that game, breaks its compatibility with Proton. So, if you do this, never change it ever or else you'll be like me and once again you cannot use your own tutorial i seriously i can't vc face just doesn't work in wine for me anymore and i've talked with several people in my discord link below they all can download it and run it without an issue it's just my computer and my laptop that refuse to do it i don't understand what it is it makes no sense i've talked with the developer of vc face no one knows why the hell my computer can't run it. It's got all the right programs and all the right files and all the right places and it runs correctly. Wine runs correctly. I can run other games and it's fine. It is just VC face and it's driven me absolutely insane to the point that I, this is the last video I'm going to be making about VC face because I just can't use it. It's literally impossible for me to use it and I don't know why. It's not impossible for me to use, it's just gotten to a point where it is such a headache to get it running even for a few minutes that I might as well just say it doesn't exist anymore because I just can't use it. Literally anyone else, if you are a VTuber looking to use Linux, run VC face and wine, it'll be fine for you. It is just my system. I don't know what it is. It's driving me insane. I've spent the last like eight hours trying to fix it and I can't get it working. So I'm sorry. This is the last VC face video I'm going to make, not by choice, but because my computer is just continually saying, no, fuck you, we don't wanna do it. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be all for this video. I'm sorry for this to end on such a sour note. Um, 
<laughs> but my computer just hates me, apparently, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised at. But it, I am. I thought I thought it was chill, especially after all the times I've fixed it. Granted, I'm the one that broke it, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's getting revenge against me for constantly breaking it. But that's going to be it for me. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.